Okay, so after I've done my base, I've got the Makeup Revolution Iconic 3 palette, which is apparently the dupe for the Naked 3 palette, which I haven't got, so I couldn't tell you. Um, they come with a little foam brush, no, just a foam thingy applicator, but I have a handful of brushes as well because I don't know what I'm going to want to use. I only do simple, simple makeup, so that's that. That is what it's going to be, I'm afraid. I use this brush, which is the eye shading brush from Eco Tools, um, and I'm going to go in with the lightest colour. They don't, they don't label them. Sorry, my mirror is still up here. I need to reset this setup. I think I might actually cheat and go in with my fingers, to be honest, because. That's just more unlikely to do on an everyday basis. This is going... Isn't it funny that you can't find your own eyes when you're on camera? I have dry skin in there, so my foundation has clung a little bit to that. So we will avoid that area. Sorry, I'm covering my own mouth even though I'm speaking. Always a good start. So we're going to go in everywhere with that one just to give it a bit of an all over. Then I'm going to take this one which is a Real Techniques Dome Shadow Brush. I like the look of that for in the crease line but I'm not entirely sure what colour I'm going to go for yet. I don't want anything too sparkly for in the crease. I'm going to go that one there. There we go. Somewhere in the middle. And I'm going to just put it in and it kind of disappears, which is what I am after. I am not all about the big eyeshadow looks. So, if that's what you're after, I can recommend some good people for you. But, I'm not the one to follow, I'm afraid. It's not good, is it? I'm turning subscribers away. Please subscribe to me. I will say some things that you like, I'm sure. But, I'm going for a simple look at the moment, right. So that is in my crease and you can hardly see it. So I'm going to go for the next colour that's not too shimmery along, which is just the other side of the metallic-y one, and put that lower down into that crease. There you go. That was that one. That's me talking to myself because I can't remember which one I've just used. So there you go, that's a bit more a bit more visible. They've got quite a nice colour payoff, but they are quite like muted safe shades, if you see what I mean. Then I'm going back to this brush, which was the eye shading brush, and I want to put a bit of this goldy bronzy right in the centre there again I might go back to my finger I think I'm maybe not just keen on that brush there we go pack some colour on in the middle there much better Avoiding that kind of, I don't know that I want to make that eczema patch actually shimmery, so I will avoid that. There we go, so that's on in there. I'm going to use this little brush, which is the Real Techniques Detailer brush, and go with this pinky shade here into the corners. And that one will go up to the x Murray patch, but that's okay. My phone's just buzzed, I don't know why. It's on the other side of the room somewhere. Now I'll go down the bottoms of these eyes. I don't line 
I know I should be talking about it when I do eyeliner but I probably won't do eyeliner on camera because I'm not very good at it but I don't line the bottom lash of my eyes because when I when I do that it makes my eyes look smaller and I wear glasses that are long distance glasses so they make my eyes look smaller anyway so I don't need the extra small eye look I don't want big glass because I wear big chunky glasses and I don't want big chunky glasses and little piggy eyes in the bottom really <laughs> so yeah after that one I am going to I don't know what I think I'm going to put a bit more of this bronze on because that has gone a little bit less than I wanted it to and hopefully that has gone some way to disguise that little bit of eczema there if I bring this pink shade up again up higher I think There you go, then that almost covers it completely, which was what I wanted to go for. Then I'm going back for our back, oh, lost it, there it is. <laughs> going back with this round one, and I'm going to put a bit more in here. Sorry, just staring off into the middle of nowhere. And then I'm going to take this very, very end, darkest one, which is almost purpley with the same brush just put that there in the corner and blend I've only used a really little bit of that because I'm a wimp just like one touch on the palette and blend 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 really and then I'm going to bring just a tiny bit down into that corner there so it looks just like I've carried it on rather than I'm aligning and then I'm going to just smudge away anything that's too far down so there you go that's what I'm going to do with my eyes um, I will take this highlight colour and just top up under my eyebrows there Then I will go in and put some mascara on. I don't know that I'm actually going to do eyeliner with this look. Controversial, I know, but I'm not very good at it and I don't wear it often. So I'm just going to go in with my mascara, I think. Okay, so I have done my brows with this, which is the Collection Work the Colour Eyebrow Kit. Um, I used a mix of the brown and the black shades. Um, there is a gel in it which I do like but the gel that I put over the top was the Brow Drama from Maybelline which has got, I quite like the little ball on the end of the applicator that you can't see because my focus doesn't like to focus on the thing that I'm actually talking about <laughs> I don't mean it, it's brilliant really um, the Lash Accelerator was the mascara that I used that is from Rimmel um, it's got little fibres in the end of it I don't like to use anything too lengthening when I'm wearing my glasses because they brush against the end of my glasses I also don't like to wear false lashes for the same reason I don't like them keep hitting the glasses so there you go that is my eye makeup look for glasses and the reasons why I don't do anything on the bottom I've got nothing at all on my bottom I could go in with bottom lashes but I do find they tend to look a little bit spidery it's probably the way that I do them rather than anything so I just go for the top and the eyelid so there you go that is my look it's simple it's easy it's a lot of people's kind of everyday look because I am not that brave with makeup but I like to play so simple easy everyday look using the Revolution Iconic 3 palette as my only eyeshadows 
and a few other bits and bobs. The foundation routine you can see, I'll sit back a bit now, the foundation routine you can see on my channel either the day before or the day after. I'm gonna do them one each day, not sure which way around yet. So that is for dry skin and that's using the Body Shop, um, that one. So yeah, I will try and link it. If I can't, then that's just because I failed and I'm afraid that's what I'm like. So I have added a little bit of, lost them, the Essence Natural Bronzer Contoury sort of, not necessarily, and the Max Factor Lovely Pink as a highlight and blush because it is a very um, shimmery nice one and my lipstick is the MAC with a hair pink pearl pop and obviously I have my glasses on which are Michael Kors and they are one of the new shapes I've only just got them recently so this is the finished look with glasses this is just you can't you can't see very well because it's reflecting from the window onto my glasses, I'm afraid. But this is the reason that I don't do my bottom lashes because I think that it opens up my eyes once I've got my glasses on. When I do my bottom lashes and my bottom eyeliner, then it seems to close my, la my lashes. It seems to close my um, eyes down a little bit and make them look smaller. But yes, this is the finished look. I'm really pleased with it. I enjoy doing makeup but I don't wear it every day so when the look goes right I am really quite pleased with myself. My phone's ringing so I probably had better go. Hope to see you all soon. Please like if you've liked it and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Bye!